All right, guys, welcome back to Americade. We are testing out the Rocket Triple, not the Street Triple, because that would not have enough power. We are testing out the Rocket Triple from Triumph. We're currently in road mode. We will kick it into sport mode when we get out of here. I'm not about to try sport mode in the parking lot. That's just not a good idea. Not a good idea. This machine, they told me, I'm gonna put the exact number on the screen in case I butcher it here, but they said it's something like 162 and 167 horsepower and torque. Those numbers are just nuts in a motorcycle. So we'll have a chance here in a minute to get it out on the highway and really put those numbers to the test. Of course, the odds of me being able to actually talk to you guys at that speed are not great. So if you guys have been around my channel, you know I've got different criteria by which to judge motorcycles. The first of which is comfort. If it's not comfortable, you ain't going to want to ride it. So, comfort comes in two components. The seat and the riding position. It's kind of a sporty feel. It's not like a true sport bike. My legs are more straight down rather than tucked underneath, but I am leaned forward a bit up onto the handlebars here. It's a good riding position. I feel very comfortable in it. I feel more comfortable on this than I do on a normal sport bike. Well, as far as power is concerned, I think she's got plenty. So the seat is pretty comfortable as well. I'm not getting a whole lot of vibration in the seat. Feels pretty good. Let's talk about power. We are currently in uh, fourth gear. Gear indicator up there on the left. So we're in fourth gear, doing about 80 out here on the highway. Let's open it up a bit. My helmet's starting to lift off my head there. Whew. Engine braking, getting off the highway here. Engine braking in sport mode, very smooth doesn't jerk or grab you brakes in the front feel pretty good very lightweight levers gonna pull over here in this little parking lot give you guys a walk around to the bike give you a nice view All right forward and first locked kickstand down all right so this is the rocket 3r it is a beast of a machine liquid cooled Full LED turn signals, front and rear. We've got dual floating disc brakes with ABS in the front, of course, probably the best brakes in the industry, Brembo. I like the nice red Brembo detailing on the front. The bike looks classy. Yeah, without this little scoop right here, this little piece, your ass would be off the back. It is fast, guys. They asked me before I got on, how long have I been riding and have I ridden large bikes before? And there's a reason why. That number right there is all you need to concern yourself with, 2,500 cc's. It is massive. Probably the biggest horsepower motorcycle and biggest torque motorcycle I have ever ridden. It does have a small passenger pillion. I assume you can get passenger pegs for it. I don't see them currently installed. So I think it's just set up for single rider at the moment. It's a very comfortable riding position, far more comfortable than I thought it would be. Um, Oh, we also got Brembo brakes in the rear. Big disc brake in the rear. We're using drive shaft technology here. No chains, no belts. With that kind of power, you got to have a shaft going back to the wheel. As far as looks are concerned, looks kind of like the European bikes. You know, the rounded style of the tanks and the, the gentle slope nose. You know, it kind of resembles maybe a BMW. If you're not familiar with Triumph, BMW might be the closest thing that looks similar in a way. But it's a good looking machine, I think. Hop on here, show you the display and the gauges. So we've got different modes we can put it in. As far as cycling through info, there's not a whole lot to go through here. We have rain mode, rider mode, sport mode, road mode. Go back to sport. RPM, tack, gear indicator, speedometer, ABS is on, traction control is on, uh, engine mapping is in sport. You've got timers 
cruise control, outdoor temperature, clock, basic info, not too many fancy screens to scroll through. As far as gas, it's a bit of a weird looking gas tank cover, but yeah, oh well. That's about it for the walk around. Pretty simple bike, not much to it. So we've talked about comfort, the seat and the riding position. We've talked about the power. You saw an absolute incredible demonstration of power on the highway there. So now we're gonna take it through the twisties and see how it handles. Not sure I can even get it out a second up in here. We'll see. Uh, dude, you wanna get in your freaking lane there? Man. Handling feels pretty nice. I haven't gotten too deep in the turns here yet, but you're leaned forward over the front of the bike, so you have a much uh, better sense of control with the handlebars being forward closer to that nose wheel. in sport mode pretty good pretty good all right dude don't pop out in the road here oh it handles like a dream it feels pretty heavy for its size I mean riding bikes this size I'm used to that but not with this much weight because of the massive engine so it does feel a little heavier than I anticipated just by looking at it. But it still leans into the curves very nicely. The controls feel, it's not as lightweight as, you know, like a lighter sport bike, but the controls side to side here with flickability, I mean, I can wiggle this thing back and forth very easily. The controls feel fairly light for pressing to lean. Again, not as light as like a leader bike or something, like a sport bike. Handling, I will give it about an 8 out of 10. It could be improved, maybe just a little bit more nimble. But part of that is probably also rider fear. I mean, I've never had this much power in a bike between my legs. I am not trying to kill myself here. I'm riding it harder than I probably should even through some of these turns as far as the speed goes. But... leaning over there we go it does feel a little heavy in the corners that's really all I can fault it for on the handling it's just a bit heavy in the corners so other than being a little bit heavy handling is great so we've talked about power comfort handling I give you guys a walk around the bike we've shown you the electronics and uh, you've seen it's a pretty simple gauge I mean there's not much you need there some bikes are so overloaded with digital info that, you know, it, it can be distracting. Here, you've got everything you need. I would almost want the gauge to be just a little bit bigger because it's tucked down there out of my view, which is good in one way, but also to have, take like a quick glance down. If it was just slightly bigger, that would also be a little bit nicer. Just a little bit. And I like the rounded gauge. I, I don't like a big square screen. The little round gauge is nice. Just maybe make it the size of this ring here. That would be even better. Other than that, it's got everything you need and no excessive info to distract you. Styling, I've shown you guys the bike and that's really the last thing to talk about. Styling is always personal preference. You know, as far as styling is concerned, there are some things that could be approved upon like this giant uh, silver brush thing up here for the gas tank cover. I think it looks kind of ugly. They could maybe slim that down or make it look a little bit better. Other than that, it's just not my most favorite looking bike in the world. It's not bad looking, just my personal opinion. It's not my favorite bike as far as looks go. However, you can forget about the looks when you're having this much fun. I mean, it is just insane how much fun this bike is. This might be the most fun you can have with your pants on or without recreational drugs. Oh, 
holding the turn, holding the turn, powering out of the turn. Let's rock. Oh crap, we're behind uh, a communications truck up here. Darn, I can't open it up any further. GoPro decided to crap out on me there for a minute, so I had to uh, pull over and swap a battery and restart it. All right, guys, so what's my overall impression of this bike? Well, I think it's an incredible bike. The power is amazing. And even though it might not be my most favorite looking bike in the world, would I get it? Heck yes, I would. Absolutely. This is insanely fun. I mean, if I had to sum this bike up in one word, the word is fun. Practicality, if it had saddlebags available, which I don't know what accessories are available for this, you know, it might make it more useful, more practical. You're not buying this as your fuel efficient commuter bike. You're buying this to have a ton of fun on. Like an excessive, illegal amount of fun. So overall, my opinion on this bike, fantastic. If you have the time, and you can get yourself in the saddle, you've got to try it for yourself. It is that good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful. If you have any questions or comments about the bike or any of the other bikes I've been test riding here at Americade, please let me know down below. I love talking to you guys, answer any questions you guys might have. Sorry if I've been overloading you guys with test ride content on the channel, but I have been filming my ass off here at Americade. I've been doing so many test ride videos, tons of great content for you guys. I hope you've been enjoying all of it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. That helps me crack the YouTube algorithm and get this out to more people. If you're new here and you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. It's the big red button. Click the bell icon next to it. That will give you guys notifications when there are new videos to watch right here on Motoblade. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, y'all know what to do. Be careful out there. Ride safe. Ride on. I'll catch you on the next video. Deuces.